Mathematicians won the war and built the A-bomb. Now, who among you will be the next Morse, next Einstein? I was told you love numbers more than me. It's like a painting, I think. Only imagine it is with colors you cannot see. What does it all do? I also put an advanced Fourier system on the main hallway chalkboard. And the person to do so will not only be in my good graces, and the name printed in the auspicious MIT tank. You see, you used McLaurin here. For years, we've been trying to solve the equation without changing the underlying assumption about time. A singularity, space time singularity. So the universe born from a black hole exploding. Keep going, develop the mathematics. Maybe it's not new math at all. Oil is method. Math is always dependable. It's recursive. It's nonsensical. Stop! Your theorem is wrong. A difficult theorem can be like a symphony. It's very erotic. Can't be done, I'm telling you. Especially not by you. It can. Just as Mozart could hear an entire symphony in his head, you dance with numbers to infinity. We do not invent these formulae, they already exist. We are merely explorers of infinity in the pursuit of absolute perfection. I'm just trying to work out the mathematical probability of happiness. So what next? Prove it. Prove the one simple, elegant way. Look around them. Through them. Math that doesn't yet exist. Because without it, we're not going. Life for me has always been mathematics. There are patterns in everything. In maths, these patterns reveal themselves in the most incredible form. It's quite beautiful.